Hey guys, I'm back at it again. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, as you probably can tell by this video, I recently saw, just to change things up a little bit, I saw Alicia Keys, ladies and gentlemen. So, and with that comes along a small little goodie goodie bag. Uh, and a little bit of a disclaimer here, I have, this time around, I made an ex exception for myself and actually looked into it but i figured i want to give you guys a chance chance to see if you guys would be interested in getting one of these vip bags so or vip bags should i say, should say excuse me it's a little early in the morning so obviously we got i got a book more myself a journey chances are up i will actually when I get the chance, I'll be reading this book and give you guys a full review of what I think of it. And we also got the Alicia Keys Girl on Fire, uh, co obviously co-written by Andrew Wiener and illustrated by Brittany Williams, as you guys can tell. And I have looked a little bit into this. I really like the artwork, so I will, will get around to this one as well. And including that, I if I let's see if I can find this here. No, that's my power bank. Uh, Alicia Keys' own little, kind of little bit of bit of lotion, I guess, facial cream or something. I don't know, but I'll be trying this one out for myself. See if I can get this skin to to brighten up a little bit. So, uh, so obviously. As mentioned, I had a VIP package, which meant that it was kind of special, I guess. Uh, <laughs> um, what, I, what actually happened was I was escorted up to basically an own private private area, and where basically it was a little bit of a buffet, and you got you got two vouchers for drinks, and yeah, I just really enjoyed that element of it. It was pretty cool to just be sitting there having some having some bubbles and bubbles and a cup and a and a couple of a couple of cold ones. So I really enjoyed that. Uh, so it basically was an exclusive night uh, with no warm up, no support, no support acts. It was just a night of Alicia Keys on her own. Um, I showed up to the to the venue at around I believe like seven o'clock, uh, and she went on at eight thirty, played for a little over two hours, and a really solid set list. And they went by quickly. Um, I don't think uh, at least out of the concerts I've seen thus far this year, uh, the only two only one I can compare to is the one with Elton John. So we're the two hours just went by like that and her mus musicians was abs absolutely on point i think that it was a great sense of atmosphere oh by the way i sat basically center field just in the third row so it, i wasn't pretty far from her so and she had this really nice um uh black outfit with some either se sequins or diamonds whatever you want to call them it but it was very very it was sparkly that's all i'll say uh but some of the songs she performed i mean she performed the hits that you want to hear like songs like you know like fallen if i ain't got you she did a little bit of my boo uh empire state of mind naturally so she really gave um i think she gives everyone a basically give give you a word for your buck so I will definitely, definitely say if you haven't had a chance to see her, go by all means, go see her. I mean, even though I have mostly been to either stuff with re revolving around hard rock or metal recently, it was good to actually get to, to do something a little bit different because we all need, need to do that sometimes to change things up a little bit. So with that, I'm just going to head out. So make sure to like, comment, subscribe subscribe and feel free to ask me any sort of sort of questions if you have that um about about the show i can show i mean not me personally uh but anyway make sure to like comment subscribe and make sure to press that notification bell so you can stay up with it make sure also to share
share this video because the more people we get into this, the more the merrier.